Here's one piece of advice I'm going to give you, and that's it. It's the one piece of advice that could take all the potential you guys have, and your ceiling is so high, I look forward to seeing what God does with you. But there's one, if there's one thing that kills a marriage, there's one thing, and it stares at you in the mirror every morning. It's self. It's selfishness. That if we wake up in the morning, and all we think about is what we're gonna get and what we want from our spouse, we will destroy the incredible gift that marriage is. But if you do the opposite, and listen to the words of Jesus, it's Jesus' mission statement. I think every marriage should have a mission statement, and I don't think there's a better one than this. Listen to what he says, it's in Matthew chapter 20, verse 28, he said this, the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for men. Let that be your marriage statement. But Kenny, you're not getting married to get a husband. You're getting married to give yourself to me. Nate, you're not getting married to get a wife. You're getting married to give yourself to McKenna. So you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and this is what you say. Father, today, how do I make my bride's dreams come true? When you get out of the car, you look and say, what can I carry in today? When you're choosing who, what radio station, you say, honey, what radio station do you want? It's all those little acts of selflessness that begin to build a beautiful house. It's McKenna, you do the same thing. How can I make Nate's dreams come true? How can I serve him today? If you do that one thing, look out world. Here comes Nate and McKenna, miracle. All right, let's do it. Nate, do you take McKenna to be your wife? Okay, McKenna. Do you take Nate to be your husband?
let me be the first to announce Mr. and Mrs. Nate Morgan, you may kiss your bride. you 